Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Wildflower Carm. And for those of you who don't know me, I like to do, or I honestly was asked by the Lord to do a monthly installment where I talk about something um, about being in his will um, and just something about Jesus. So um, currently it is April, 2020, and we are in the middle of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. And I'm sure that you guys have been seeing all of the things in the news and all of the things that are going on and just how sad it is. Quick testimony, I was actually supposed to head to Italy on April 6th. Um, I'm sorry, not April 6th, March 6th. I was gonna head to Italy with a friend. We were gonna go to Portugal first and then to Italy. Also, sorry, excuse my shirt. I got makeup on it and I'll try to wipe it off. So it just has like wet spots, but whatever. Um, I was heading with a friend there and probably about a week and a half before our trip, I just so happened to see the, a news article and we had been kind of hearing about coronavirus a little bit, not a ton, but I just so happened to see a news article, um, and the news article talks about Italy. And I was like, Italy? Like, what does Italy have to do with coronavirus? Checked out the article. And at this point, you guys, it was still February. And I saw that Italy had like a ton of cases of coronavirus, or at least more than they thought was normal at the time. But when I went on the CDC's website um, to check and see if there was any like warnings against traveling there, they were only a level two. And level two just says that you exercise um heightened precaution but like there's no recommendation to not travel there yet just make sure you like stay safe wash your hands you know stuff like that so i talked to my friend about it and we were like okay you know like it's it was a little concerning but not overly so but we ended up agreeing that the first thing we were not going to do was be afraid like we weren't going to walk in any fear and we had decided to still go on our trip and we you know just kind of prayed and we say you know lord if it gets raised to level three then we'll cancel the trip well, lo and behold, you guys, a few days later, Italy was raised to level three. And so the race was on to figure out what to do about our trip. I'm calling all over the place, trying to cancel things. We had everything booked. We had literally just finished booking everything from the Airbnbs, train tickets throughout Italy, experiences booked like to go to cooking classes. We had bought extra for luggage with our airline, like everything was paid for. So I'm calling around scrambling or whatever. We ended up getting some refunds. Our airline was one of the refunds that we did not get, unfortunately. Um, that's still in the works, possibly, because I know it's been kind of crazy, but that's honestly not the point of this video. It was just really divine to me. And I feel like it spoke a lot to me about the call that the Lord has on my life for me to be planning to like literally head into the middle of such a battlefield, such a war zone and to literally have the Lord be like, yeah, you're not gonna go like, and so the saltiness of losing money, all of that went out the window when I found out that we were gonna be safe and safely at home. And that is not at all, like, please hear me when I say this, that is not at all to negate the fact that there are people in Italy who are struggling really hard right now, which brings me to the point of this video. I wanted to come and talk to um you guys as believers um or even if you're watching this and you're not a believer this uh, perfectly will help you but i wanted to talk today about what we do in seasons like this when we feel helpless so if you've watched any of my other videos or if you know me in real life i spent a lot of my 20s on the mission field um very actively moving around all the time to go places where i was needed for the cause of the gospel Sometimes I was working with kids or at-risk youth or orphans, um, widows, you name it, like sick people. I've probably in some capacity worked with them on the mission field. And I remember in my 20s, I was in such a season where I was constantly putting out fires. And it was fine because that was where the Lord had called me to. But that was literally what I did with my life. I lived a lifestyle of putting out fire. So if I was needed somewhere and someone emailed me and said, hey, we need an extra house pastor this summer for um, Project Transformation, I went. And that was just kind of how the Lord called me to live my life at that time. And so I was sitting in my room the other day, you guys, 
after reading so many articles of people who are dying and helpless and in need and I'm wondering like why am I here why am I here and I went to the Lord and I was like okay Lord like what why am I here like why am I safely tucked away in my little house in Ohio not doing anything and I feel like the Lord really spoke to me and showed me like that this was my post and you know, for all of us who know that analogy of like a soldier or someone who's guarding something, like each person has their post. And so you might be set to guard something over here and you might be set to guard something over there. And the Lord let me know that this was my post and that this is where he's called me to in this hour and in this season. And my post right now is to pray. And I know you guys, we live in a time and I don't really, to be honest, I don't really care because I'm rocking with Jesus anyways. But we live in a time where people will tell you like, what, that, like, that's nothing. Like, what's the benefit of that? And I will say that if there's something that I can do, I'm not going to tell a, a hungry person on the street, hey, I'm going to pray for you to not be hungry anymore. No, I'm going to give you food. But when you're helpless, you're helpless. I, I'm not a nurse. Unfortunately, I don't have a nursing degree. I can donate my money. Absolutely. I can give my time if somebody needs a volunteer somewhere. Absolutely. But for who I am, where I'm at right now in my life. Um, the Lord has not called me to, to be in the middle of the COVID-19 battle lines. And I know for a lot of believers, that can be really challenging when you're used to doing, 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 doing things. Like I've felt the same way. I'm like, Lord, I need to be doing something. I need to get online and get this nursing degree real quick. That was totally a joke, you guys. I know that I can't just get online and get a nursing degree really quick please. But I'm just like, I need to be doing something. And the Lord was like, this is your post right now. And I was reminded that there was, there's been seasons where my post has been the front lines of something. And right now I'm in the back of the battle. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys today to know, ask the Lord in this season, what is my post? God, what have you called me to? Some of us, he might be saying, hey, I want you to give all of your savings or a lot of your savings or whatever to this. And I know that that's a really, really, really scary thought because right now we are running to the things that we think will save us. I hope for us as believers, the thing that we are running to is Jesus. Because let me tell y'all, he have been, has been working on my little heart so much in this time. I have had time to sit at his feet. I have had time to pray. I have had time to seek his face. And those things are not taken for granted that is not light stuff that's not light work because the level to which i have been able to seek him is a level that i have not had the time to seek him with just an everyday routine normally but currently with me you know having more time on my hands being on lockdown in ohio i have time to seek his face and that's so important but i encourage you guys to ask out what is your post right now and get on your post Get on your post. I, for one, can say, since Lord revealed that to me, I can definitely be praying more. I can definitely be lifting my brothers and sisters up more. I can definitely be lifting up the people right now who are dying alone in their beds from Italy to Spain to here to New York City, wherever they're at. I can lift those people up more. I can be praying for their peace and for their comfort and for their family's comfort and for their salvation and stuff like that. And that's what I need to do. So, you guys, I want y'all to be encouraged my spiritual mom shared something with me that was actually really deep that I'm going to share with you guys because I feel like people need to hear this. She said that with how the world is operating right now, it's giving people a chance to see what they will run to when the mark of the beast comes. What will people run to? What are they going to think is going to save them? Evaluate what you've run to. Evaluate what you have sought and found refuge in in this time. And ask the Lord to check your heart if it hasn't been the right things. Or even if it has been the right things, ask him to give you the strength to keep you there. Because that's important. What do we run to for security? What do we think will save us? Honestly, right now, you guys, when I go out, I might wear a mask or use hand sanitizer. But that stuff is not saving me, y'all. I ain't going nowhere until the Lord says it's my time. And when he says it's my time, there is nothing in this earth that is going to keep me on this earth when the Lord said that he's calling me home. And I know that that's a really hard way to look at things, but it's just the truth. It is just the truth. I don't believe not one person passes through this earth without the Lord saying that this, that is their time. And sometimes it is in very hard ways. Like what we're seeing happen right now, this is a really hard way. It's a really sad way to die. And we don't want this to happen. 
And as a believer, I pray that the Lord has mercy and grace on us and does not allow this to go any further than he says that it has to go so that he spares people's lives and that he spares people's hearts and just the trauma that is happening right now because we know that it's just not a good thing and it's 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 a really sad thing. I'll say that it's a really sad thing um, for people. But with that being said, we have to really check and evaluate what we think will save us and where we're running to and we have to realize that the things that we kind of lean on in this season are not going to save us they're just not like unless you are leaning on and running to jesus and none of this other stuff gonna save y'all it's not going it's just not the other thing that i have been reflecting on the lord honestly revealing to me um a, I've always known that I am a mis in times missionary. And so I knew that the season in which I walked the earth as a missionary was going to be close to the end. Um, but also, and, and no man knows the day or the hour. We know that from reading the word. And if you haven't read that, it's in the word. We don't know the day or the hour when Jesus is to return. Um, but I really believe that he is soon to return i believe that's something that he's spoken to me specifically a couple times uh to remind me that i need to be on my job and that i need to be reminded of who he is and what he's doing and what he requires and needs from me and it's time i think it's just a sobering it is such a sobering that is happening right now in the spirit for the people of God, believers, honestly, well, I would say believers and unbelievers. It's a sobering moment to realize that people are not invincible. And the only way we get to have eternal life and to live continually after our body leaves this earth is if we accept Jesus Christ as our savior and join him in heaven for eternity. That's the way. That's how we do it. And so, you guys... I'm praying for you. I need you guys to all be encouraged. Allow the Lord to check your heart. Allow the Lord to evaluate things. Even with this, I know I need to go back to the Lord and allow him to continue to evaluate my heart and check me on things and bring me to a place of reckoning um, in myself so that I am aligned with his perfect will. Continually to strip me of things, remove things from me that are not like him so that I'm not leaning and resting on myself. This message is not to condemn you. It is to uplift you and let you know that Christ has a plan for your life. If you're watching this video. He has a plan for your life. Seek him while he may be found. Come to him. If you've been teeter-tottering, not sure, or if you're one of those people who you grew up with faith and now you've walked away or you don't quite understand it, seek him. Seek the Lord. He will reveal himself to you. He will sustain you. He will get to your heart. He got to mine. He's gotten to so many other people's hearts that I've seen. He will get to yours too. And you will become in him all that he's called you to be. I'm not saying that the road will be easy. He'll continue to work those old things out of you and allow your new nature to come forth. Um, and he'll fill you with the Holy Ghost as you ask him to. And that is such a transforming power. Um, and you literally see the world differently. Like... Everything is different when you have the Holy Ghost. Everything is different when you have the Holy Ghost. Everything. And so, you guys, I want you to be encouraged. Um, everyone who watches this video, I want you to be encouraged. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to ask. Anything especially about Jesus and salvation and wanting to come to him, please feel free to ask. If I don't know the answer to a question, I will get you the answer to a question some way, somehow. We're going to ask somebody because this is important, you guys. I am imploring you guys to come to Jesus. Come to him. And if you already know him, to really surrender yourself completely to him so that you can be used in his time, used in this time for his glory. So yeah, I love you guys. I just want to say a quick, a quick prayer before we uh, get off this video. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for everyone under the sound of my voice. Jesus, I ask that you would draw their hearts to you, Father, and that you would get the glory. In the name of Jesus, I ask, Lord God, that you would save whoever's watching this video. And if they already are saved, God, that you would draw them deeper 
into a deeper relationship with you, Lord God, to know you more, Father God, and to be used by you uh, mightily, Lord God, in this time. I pray your peace and protection over everyone in this time, Lord God. I ask, Father, that you would literally go into people's homes, Lord God, bring healing, Lord God, bring deliverance, bring covering and protection, Lord God, for people who have to still go out and go to work. I pray, Lord God, that you will keep them and heal them and bless them for their efforts in this time. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. And yeah, like I said, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.